Hi everyone. In this video and the coming up videos, we will be discussing few protocols used for frame transfer in data link control. So, in data link control, many protocols are used, and the protocols can be assumed to be working in for noiseless channels. and noisy channels okay in noiseless channels there is simplest and stop and wait and other, there are three in noisy that is stop and wait arq go back and arq and the third one selective repeat the one in this video I am going to discuss is the simplest protocol why it is known as the simplest protocol well as maybe because of the assumptions it make that are far too real to be simple and don't apply much in real world scenario but let's see what are these so this protocol has no error or flow control as it assumes that the medium is ideal and the data will be in unidirectional okay so as I was saying talking about the assumptions the first assumption it makes that the receiver can handle any frame immediately immediately and the time it takes for it is negligible and the receiver is never overwhelmed with upcoming frames never overwhelmed as it takes times negligible so when a frame comes it processes remove the heads and passes to the network layer so as let's draw it this is the sender and this is the receiver and this is being network layer this is physical this is data so the request comes from here it processes send it to physical the frames go data frames the receiver immediately receives them processes the data and pass into the network layer immediately the main thing is in this problem is that the receiver works immediately and is can handle as many frames as we send so if we look at the algorithm that is we can say that this request occurred and this occurred is known as an event so they will be continuously scanning for events as they don't know when the event will occur as this receiver won't know when the frames are going to come so it will continuously check for frames have we received frames? no have we received frames? no so it will be continuously checking so the algorithm it on the server side is while true as I was saying this as this is the infinite loop I am going to put it continuously checks 
it waits for event if event occur what was the event on server side it will be the request to send frame from the network layer then what it do if request is sent it will get the data make the frame and send the frame pretty simple okay so on the server side server side it's also continuously scan for events while true wait for event arrival of notification arrival notification so when it receives the frame it received frame and extract the data by removing the head and those extra information then it delivers it to the network layer okay now getting to my favorite part that is flow diagram why favorite as you will see eventually in the other protocols we are going to see so when they are hard to understand sometimes the only thing that helps us to understand them easily is the flow diagram well it is pretty simple for this one so still we are going to draw it a b this is the sender and receiver and this is some point of time this is the timeline time it is continuing that is some point t t plus 1 this time is increasing so let's say the request is here then the frame is created and it will go and take some time this is the time taken that's why a downward slope so this frame will take time and it will be arriving here so like this there will be other frames other frames so it is the simplest protocol the sender can send as many frames the receiver will receive them there is no error control no acknowledgement by the receiver that if the frame is destroyed or something but the receiver just receives it so that's why it is the simplest protocol so that's all in this protocol the next protocol we will be seeing is stop and wait protocol and it establishes flow control as the receiver actually can't handle as many requests as comes in real world so okay see you next time